Got it. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rex. We are in the Wizard Academy, and this is... This is the summer of finding hidden gems in American craft spirits. That's a, that's a thing. It's sort of like the summer of love, but a little less flow to the title. But just as much booze. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also a reminder, well, we'll cover that. Dry Week is coming up June 11th through June 18th. We'll give you the yeah. fine details at the Optional, end of this episode. Join us if you want to do the official window of time that us and the community do together. This is a gift from patron saints, Arkana Patel and Jay. Ah, I was trying to time it. I can't do it. Jay Arcana Hudgens. Arkana Patel and Jay Hudgens. You patron saints of whiskey. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Throwing off the ceremony. <laughs> okay, so one of my favorite TV, th there's a lot of celebrity whiskey out there these days, or celebrities partnering with somebody and getting into whiskey. Yes. Right? Some bother to find a person who knows what they're doing. Who knows what they're doing, and they'll right. sit down and they'll give them some blend options. Like Marianne Eves and uh, what's the football, Peyton Manning or whatever. Yeah, and then some are just sourcing some stuff, and then. Like, Slapping a name on it. Nobody's becoming a distiller and making it. Not yet. That'll be no one's quitting that. their day, their real job of being yeah, famous. Famous and rich and And then celebrity. opening a craft distillery. Which is not going to make That's you. That's a bad idea, yeah. Very famous or rich. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this is a company called The Spirit of LA. Okay. And these guys are uh, finding other distilleries and sourcing things. Yeah. And then... Uh, doing other stuff to it. This one, for example, is 94% corn, 4% rye, 2% malted barley. Mm -hmm. They're bringing it in and blending it. It's called American. They release American whiskey. This is Mulholland Distillery. Yeah. Or Mul no, no, Mulholland Distillery. American whiskey. But this is the distillery. The distillery is the spirit of LA. There's no distillery. What is Mulholland Distilling? The still. Well, they they call it Mulholland Distilling. It's a sticker. That's their brand. Yeah. Mulholland Distilling. The Yes, Mahalan Distilling. You tagline. deny the sticker? No, no, I don't deny the sticker. It is Mahalan Distilling, <laughs> the spirit of LA. All right, I actually really like the nose. But yeah, it's just, so American whiskey. We don't know exactly what that means. Is this just a corn whiskey, and it was aged in? We I don't know what was the blend. Oh. It could be that they didn't want to tell you what the blend was, but so they settled for the overarching category of American whiskey. Sure, which is a shortcut to. Yeah. It was complicated. <laughs> <laughs> it's I like the nose. To me, I'm getting a lot of like neutral grain, aged neutral grain in this nose. I am finding oak and honey. And you give me two classic flavors like that. Yeah, but there's a there is a metallic brittleness to this nose. So it's very sugary. That reminds me it's sugary and bright. of blended whiskey. American blended whiskey. Well, I think that's what it is though. I don't know. It didn't say blended though. I don't know. It's 100 proof. So they went for a reasonable proof. I wouldn't have guessed that proof. Me either. It is much lighter mm -hmm. in the nose than that. Eh, I don't know. Mm. I'm acclimating to the notes now. Now the... Uh, it's just slightly sugary and metallic. Yeah, the oak the is giving way for almost like a slight rubber note. It tastes identical. This is a mixer, cocktail, recipe, whiskey. Clear. Yeah. That's just gonna provide for the cocktail what it needed to be in the whiskey direction. Very simple. Kind of flat, even for a hundred. Yeah. I'm not still not getting that blend. I mean that that proof. Yeah, I would have guessed like 45. Yeah. Or lower. Yeah. You know what's interesting though? This is kind of a bummer because I wanted this to be great. Okay. Because the celebrities involved is Walter Goggins, Boyd Crowder, and Justified. And, oh. and a bunch of other amazing, like yeah, he's in yeah. Sons of Anarchy, I think, too. Yeah, yeah. And like he's in all these amazing shows. Astounding actor. Yeah. yeah Just yeah. an astounding actor. Mm -hmm. And I really wanted it to be good for that reason. So I think this is a case of if we are drinking it as intended, because it doesn't seem like this was intended for any point. I don't think so, yeah. As a mixer or maybe on the rocks. Give me give me a little bit more. Yeah, I tried to start the ice machine at noon today, so see uh, hopefully that was enough time. I came in here at noon and it was off, so I turned it on. I will destroy you. Is there ice? There's ice. Oh, good. Okay. I shall delay the destroying. <laughs> it's good to know I bought a reprieve. Do you want some? No. Well, you know what? F*** it. I don't like it right now. Let's might, as well might as well try it with ice. Yeah. See if that does anything for me. So ice is typically going to 
dulled down certain flavors, mm -hmm. leaving room for the other flavors to become much more uh, tra uh, much more noticeable. But this is already such a simple flavor yeah. set. I'm not counting on. It basically smells the same, but less metallic. Hey, tastes the same. <laughs> Just cold. Ironically, I think that hundred proof yeah. stood up to the ice, yeah, it so does. it tastes identical. It's funny. Just cold. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. The ice didn't make anything miss a step. No, it's exactly the same spirit. It's cold. <laughs> That's bizarre. That's never happened before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I actually prefer it cold. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. No, I would order that on the rocks. This would be as good or better than any Irish on the rocks for uh, me. I don't know. Irish any, on the rocks? Any Irish on the rocks? No, no, like the budget Irish. Oh. Like, just give me a Jameson on the rocks, it's immediately invisible. This is, you know, Maybe. a little less invisible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh. Or, yeah we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, All comment us. Comment King with C. two C's. C. It's just not a thing. It's, just, <laughs> it's not real. Yeah. Well, because comment King is KK, and you're just one letter away from this being a problem on our channel. No, it's, it's, why is it KK? <laughs> What is it? Because well, you got to have the same letters for something to be cool. You don't. This, it's alliteration. This is Everyone knows the number one rule of writing is the more alliteration, the better. This is super racist. <laughs> <laughs> you mean rakist? I, <laughs> my bad. Justin H. Helvey. So recently, I have been getting bubble gum on the nose mm. and taste of Old Forester 100 proof. Anyone else ever noticed that? Yes. Bubble gum yes. is one of those flavors that at least for me, doesn't happen often. Yeah, but whatever but when it, it does, does, it's like, it's, ah, bubble And it's gum. specifically bubble gum. Not a specific flavor, yeah. but generic bubble gum, like Big League Chew. The Big League Chew or bubble tape or... Bubble tape, ah, I forgot about bubble tape. Yeah. That was fun. I think Bubblicious, I don't know. That was okay. Oh, yeah. Bazooka was for shit. Oh, I mean, it had flavor for about half a second. All right. Like your first bite, you're like, oh, that, ah, oh, it's gone. I think I... <laughs> I think of all of those, mm. I think I was grabbing the bubble issues more than anything. Yeah, so, I was grabbing the tape as much as I get my hands on it. I don't like the powder though. You get the powder on your fingers. Yeah, you're right. It does do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, candy channel. <laughs> First world problems. Yeah, you get all the dust on your fingers from that yeah. gobble gum. It's terrible. And then the whiskey, the free whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> we're gifted. Occasionally I get that flavor. Uh. <laughs> Oops. Uh, Stephen Wolf. Okay, Tribe, I need your assistance. Have a friend who likes whiskey but thought Gentleman Jack was good whiskey. Turned out to ja turned him to Jameson Black Barrel, and he's a fan. What should be next? I suggested Dalmore to introduce him to Scotch. Yeah, that's Dalmore. not a bad idea because it's not really peaty. Yeah, it's sherry cask but approachable. It's not a super high proof, right? Yeah, Dalmore could be good. It's got um, that if he, delicious E one fifty. If he wants to live in Irish, right, then. Like, uh, expand like, from stout cask. What all the Irish would you do in that? I would, I would red breast, man. Yeah, but you, of course, you recommend red breast. I know, but because, and the only reason I recommend it isn't because I really enjoy it. Yeah. It's because how often it hits. Yeah. Like, if you're wanting to expand somebody's horizon. That's always why I recommend the same thing every time. Yeah. The same way you do. Yeah, yeah. The green spot. Yeah, green spot. Yeah, yeah. Green spot. But it's good. more fruity. Green spot's more fruity. And red breast is more like rich and savory. Yeah. Which, That's true. Dip, 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 dip. Uh, this, eh, fruit, eh. Uh, yeah, not no. any core. Now this is not a. This was not a. There's gem. nothing. There's nothing offensive about it though. No, no. There's no faults. Yeah, I think just like the market that it's for, it's nuts. not going to be game changing. It's going to be very, very simple flavors. Yeah. And okay. uh, here's the fight. It's dealing a drink. If you fight me, a fight for a friend. Those are words. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You're just revving up. If you steal, may you steal your liver, sorry. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us.